Different bears can favor different fishing spots specific to their survival needs. A mother will fish in strategic locations where her cubs can climb a tree to quickly evade predators. Adolescent bears will sometimes fight with their peers for fishing spots, only to be chased off by an even bigger foe, a dominant male. An older bear with the confidence and size to fish wherever and whenever he wants. See a place up here that looks very promising to me. Oh, 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 here we go. I'm already seeing salmon. Oh, it's unbelievable to see salmon in a stream like this. Check it out. Well, that's my first good sign. The food is here. Oh, oh, oh. look at this. Look at this kitchen table. This is the beginning of their long journey to get back to the exact place where they were hatched. When salmon hatch in a river, that very location is imprinted into their homing instincts. They'll always be able to pinpoint this location after years of migrating far out into the Pacific Ocean in search of abundant food. It's thought that they're attuned to the Earth's magnetic field, using it like a compass. This internal navigation system will one day guide the salmon back to this exact spot to spawn. As the bear's own instincts drive them here to feed. These fish have been swimming for thousands of miles, evading sharks and whales and all kinds of fish to make it here, only to face the bears. Just incredible. Classic example of what they're doing here. Look at this fish. You can see this is all meat, but it's not touching that. It's gone in after the guts, but mostly went for the brains. Ooh, that stinks. The brains, the hump on the back, and the eggs. If bears are being this picky, they're eating well here. This should be a very productive spot. Oh, look at that clear example of going after just the eggs. Perfect example. See that? There they are. Bear's done eating. Just wanted the caviar. Left all the meat, ate out the eggs. With hibernation just around the corner, black bears have entered a survival phase called hyperphagia. Their appetites become voracious as they eat to fatten up as preparation for seven months of hibernation. In this do or die stage, they can eat up to 20,000 calories a day. That's 10 times more than a human eats daily. However, they don't eat the flesh of the salmon to get that much needed energy. They target instead the brains, the fatty dorsal fins, and the eggs to prevent themselves from starving to death through their winter sleep. The black bears remove what they need with surgical precision and move on to the next fish leaving telltale carnage behind. And that's how it's done. Just like that. So if I, a bumbling, clumsy, slow human, can do that, imagine what a creature has been doing this since its existence can do. How quickly they can get their mail and lots of it. Oh yeah. There's signs everywhere. This place is like a salmon slaughterhouse. The only question is, will they be coming back to feed here again? I see one there. <laughs> 